very pleasant good afternoon to you ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to the People's Forum of In the Streets with Big Stone. Now I did a video talking about the legendary Toots Ibberts being buried at Eros Park. And of course, I pay a lot of respect to the legendary Charles Ayat. Now a lot of you youngsters might be you have heard the name but you really don't know the gem, the icon that was supposed to be buried at Eva Circle. So I just want to send a big shout out to the Ayats family and I just want to say I love you and I respect you and all of Jamaica love you, honor you and respect you. The reason being, you have demonstrated what the legendary Charles Ayat was all about. He was a selfless man. Now I'm going to dedicate this video to two of my very special fans. One is Jacqueline Welch and the other is Sammy's Gourmet Treat. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the man who gave up, gave up his spot at Eva Circle for the legendary Toots Ibbers to be buried. Now let's take a listen first before I go into Charles Ayat, the man. This is just to show you what he sounds like. Later on you'll see what he looks like. Let's take a listen to the legendary Charles Ayat using the word folkery, which is spelled F-O-L-K-E-R-Y. But just look at the style and the class and the humor that he uses when he uses that simple word folkery, F-O-L-K-E-R-Y. Let's take a listen to the legendary Charles Ayat. I am Charles Ayat, and I belong to a group commonly referred to as old folk. So I am here to talk folkery. <laughs> And why not? I mean, the queen mother of our folklore is Miss Lou. All her life, she has been talking folklore. <laughs> and she has been given the highest national honors for her folklore. There's the Jamaica folk singers, and they sing nothing but folklore. <laughs> they've been they've been all over the world entertaining and enlightening everyone at the highest level with our folk <laughs> I mean you, you you could say that nowadays our national culture is folking. <laughs> National honors for our folk rate. I have been so honored with national honors as the National Commercial Bank keeps reminding me. Each month they send me a statement reminding me that I am Charles Hyatt OD. <laughs> because of the technological advancement, the world is becoming a global village, they say. Nations all over are able to impose their folkery on other nations at the flick of a switch. You don't even have to have electricity anymore to get information. All you need are a couple of energizing batteries and you can log on. From the southern Caribbean, you get Calypso folkery. From Cuba, there is Latin folkery. North American folkery is thrust upon us, even in the fashion of clothing. As for Britain, <laughs> I grew up in the folkery from that place. <laughs> so you see my friends, folkery is the order of the day. The 
ladies and gentlemen, do you understand what I'm talking about? That is just one of the many skits that the legendary Charles Ayat has been famous for. Let's take a listen now into Charles Ayat. Who is this man, Charles Ayat? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go and, <laughs> and check him out. <laughs> Charles Hyatt, Jamaican actor, playwright, comedian, director, broadcaster, storyteller, teacher, was born February 14, 1931, and he passed away on January 1st, 2007. Charles Egerton Hyatt was born in Kingston, Jamaica, the son of Herbert Hyatt taxi driver and Ruth Burke, homemaker, and was educated at the St. Aloysius Boys School and St. Simon's College. Recognized as a superbly talented actor from an early age, Hyatt developed his dramatic abilities as a member of the Caribbean Thespian Dramatic Society. He was especially adept at the skill of mind and was noted for impeccable timing remarkable comic sense and an ability to deliver convincing portrayals of a wide range of characters male and female on stage between the mid 1940s and late 50s hyatt appeared in numerous roles in plays and reviews including the dames in nine consecutive annual little theater movement pantomimes and also emerged as an outstanding stand-up comedian. He was introduced to radio theatre in the late 1950s and made his debut as co-host of an early morning chat show on JBC, which is Jamaica Broadcasting Corporation. When the corporation began transmission in June 1959, soon after, he wrote a hugely successful long-lasting series of daily five-minute big nets titled Here Comes Charlie in which he played all roles, male and female, as well as designing and executing the sound effects. See what I'm talking about? Hyatt was awarded a British Council bursary in 1960 to study at the Theatre Royal in Windsor. He was for many seasons resident actor at the Oxford Playhouse and at the Phoenix Theatre and tour all over Britain and Europe. During this period, he enjoyed an invaluable reputation as a character actor and made many appearances in films and in television plays and series for the British Broadcasting Corporation, that is BBC, and independent television. Among his BBC television assignments, between 1968 and 1971, he wrote and narrated stories aired on the long-running children's program Jackanory. Returning to Jamaica in 1974, among other activities, he became head of the JBC Drama Department, presented a jazz program on JBC Radio and later at Class FM, wrote and narrated for Radio Television Radio Fusion a series of reminiscence titled When There Was a Boy, which the Institute of Jamaica subsequently published in book form taught theater arts at the Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts, continued his career as a stage and screen actor, and did a stint as ringmaster of a touring international circus. Long recognized as one of Jamaica's most significant cultural icons, Charles Ayat was the recipient of the National Honor of Order of Distinction and the Institute of Jamaica Centenary Medal. He won several Best Actors Award in Jamaica and in Europe. Charles Ayat, the man, he wore so many hats, ladies and gentlemen. And this is the reason why I'm doing this, is because I want to educate our youngsters about the great wealth that Jamaica has, not just in music, but in acting, in storytelling, in narration, in many different avenues. Jamaica is one of the biggest little island in the world. We love you, Mr. Ayat. We wish you was here with us to share in the many 
uh, glories and laughters that you have left us. But I know you're smiling somewhere in heaven. But guess what? I'm going to read two of the comments that really spurred me to do this video. I'm going to read the comment by Jacqueline Welch and then I'm going to read the comment by my friend Sammy's Gourmet Treat. Let's start with Jacqueline Welch. Jacqueline Welch. Big Stone, I have to Google who Charles Ayat is. I'm not familiar with him. I hope he was not guilty in surrendering his spot. E, I wouldn't have given away that honor. Big up, Charles Ayat. Regarding our icons, we can make sure something like this situation with Toots doesn't happen again. Since we now know that space is not available for all our iconic artists who deserve special recognition, we can plan ahead. My solution, the gates to Eros Park could be a memorial plaque to all the great icons, those who have passed and those who are still living. We know who they are. Let's put their names on the gate or a formal memorial inside. They can be buried in their hometown or venue of choice, but they will know their names will adorn the gates to Eros Park. Hey, how about doing it before they pass, based on their body of work? It would be nice if Charles Hyatt knows that his name will be on that gate or memorial. Thank you very much, Jacqueline Welch. But guess what? My friend Sammy, call me treat, saw that comment and this is what Sammy had to say. Let's take a listen. Sammy's gourmet treat. Jacqueline Welch. Charles Hyatt was a wonderful actor. Son of the soil. He was a wonderful human being who brought joy to his craft of acting and comedy. I'm sure you would not have minded giving up his spot to another deserving Jamaican who brought joy to folks locally and internationally. I had the wonderful privilege of knowing Charles Ayat personally. I think his family acted as they knew he would have liked them to do. Thank you very much, Sammy Gourmet Tree. And also, thank you very much, Jacqueline Wedge. Ladies and gentlemen, our icons mean a lot to us. Not just alive, but even dead. Our children must learn who these great icons were. They should not be lost in time. Now we have the age of social media. We can start making sure we dig up these files and make sure we keep our icons active in our mind and in our art. Thank you very much, Jacqueline Welch, and thank you very much, Sammy's Gourmet Treat for helping me and prodded me to do this video. I couldn't sleep, ladies and gentlemen. I had to go find out for myself who this great man was. As a matter of fact, I happened to meet him before he passed away, of course. We did a comedy skit in Saplamar, and I was the MC for that event. So I had the honor of working with the legendary Charles Ayat. I had a wonderful time preparing this, reading about this great man, and I hope you do too. Please, go research this great icon. He has a whole body of work waiting to explore. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and of course, I want you to make your comment. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time to do so. Thank you very much for listening, and please have a great day. <laughs> we talk too much for great. <laughs> Charles Ayat, he was one of.